What's up guys, it's James Grayley from Adrenaline. I'm here to show you today the new Adrenaline SAS Freak Insert Set. Uh, we've been working on it since about November of 21. It's a technology we took from the real uh, firearms industry. It is essentially um, a, an electroless nickel plating embedded with uh, a PTFE, which is like Teflon. Um, and it's not a uh, coating on top, it's actually embedded into the barrel. It's the second slickest coating known to man. Uh, SAS stands for slick as shit, essentially, in-house. In um, so I'm here to show you today the difference and what we can expect for consistency, for downsizing, for increase in velocity, and in general, what you can expect. Uh, this is some Ultra Evil we used at the uh, Pittsburgh Open Classic. We have uh, uh, bore-sized it traditionally, how you would do it with like a traditional insert at 687. It's a little bit tight. That one went through, that one got stuck. <laughs> I found a lot of these are getting stuck, so that one's really stuck. Um, but that's how I would have bore sized it because they're coming out pretty easy. Uh, so let's shoot a couple over the chrono with the traditional insert. By the way, we're here at Paintball Lab, a uh, new awesome field in Proctorville, Ohio. You got to check it out if you're in our area. All right, 288, 296. 285, 289, 290, 287, wow, that went really left, 293, 280, 285, wow, that went really left, 298, 280, 280. Now let's maybe watch a couple, you can see the little bit of squirreliness out there, uh, out down range. So left, left, right. I'm not really, that one hit the pole, and that one hit the pole, left, that one hit, left, and that hit, and that a little right. So we're gonna switch it out to an SAS insert and see what the difference is. It's not just velocity, it's uh, consistency, it's accuracy, most importantly accuracy because you can get a better grip on the ball. Uh, this is an even insert, so they're downsized on some of these inserts by an even number. 289, 299, 286, 296, 293, 294, 283, 293, 287, 286, 295, 299, 294, 85, 91, 301, that's hot, 291, 96, so they're mostly in the 90s, and if you can look down range a little bit, that was a little squirrely, all right, uh, then we're going to, that is sizing it up how we would traditionally, however, that's not what we would recommend. Because it's such a slick coating and you want to eliminate all the gaps around the ball, we would recommend downsizing a couple sizes. So this is a 680. You may want to go to 682, but this is just an example. 680. Let's check it out. And here's you're going to see a, probably a little bit of crease in velocity and a little increasing consistency. 296, 294, 297, 296, 303, 286, 298, 296, 299, 289, 306. So here you're getting high, high shots. That was 306 again, 294, 301, 305, 283, 298, so you're 296, 294, 296, 301. So you're seeing, obviously, an increase of 10 feet per second or so, roughly. Um, you're hearing the chrono, of course, go off for the first time regularly. And then let's look down, let's look down range. So if you've been watching, those are way more ball on ball than what you were seeing recently. Way more. So you've got 
an increase in velocity, an increase in consistency, and an increase in accuracy. I'm going to do one more thing. Let's go down to an aluminum 682. Uncoated, standard aluminum. Three oh one, two ninety eight, two ninety four, three oh two, two ninety two, two ninety six, two ninety, two ninety four. So it's a little better than the six eight seven, but the accuracy is all over the place. If you can see down range, I mean way left, way right, way left, way left, on somewhat way right. Now, let's go to uh, six, the smallest we make. Um, I'm hit, boys. Uh, let's go to a 678 on SAS. So you had just recently uh, really bad accuracy, which is what you would expect when you weigh downsize on a lumen insert like that. Thanks, Jess. Also, we designed it with the lasering so that you can see the sizes either from our uh, carrying cases or from a freak set. So when these are all at the top of a freak set, you can see the sizes exposed but, so you know which one to grab. So again, six, seven, eight. Three eleven. 289, 285, 301, 282, 292, 292, 297, 296, 287, 304, sorry, 302, 302, 293, 293, 303. But the difference is, besides a little bit of a velocity increase, like 311, is these aren't going to be 10 foot wide each way. So again, let's look down range. And this is not the right size. This is just basically if you just ran the smallest insert in the set all day, every day. So if you watch the last one, that, those are so much more ball on ball. I mean, that's radically different. Plus the velocity increase, radically different. And that's just basically saying, I'm going to carry one insert with me at all times, which is a six seven eight you could technically do that for almost all paint uh, of course i wouldn't do that uh, but it would work whereas it wouldn't with aluminum so again it's uh it's something we've been working on for about almost two years now we started in november we tried to release it last year and we the science is hard so i'm not going to lie we had some problems and setbacks we had to change the formula change the way we were doing it uh, and so now we had almost a year delay with a lot more r d expense but now we're ready to release it uh, we've been testing it. Um, we used them at the Pittsburgh Open Classic to excellent results. Coming in on the Chrono, 299, 299, 299, which is just such a confidence booster when you're going to a game. Uh, look for Tampa Bay Damage to be shooting these at World Cup this year. Uh, we're excited to have the entire Tampa Bay Damage team uh, shooting these in the NXL. So uh, we expect to go live with these pretty soon, um, and we expect to be shipping pretty soon. We've, we've done the work. It's been, like I said, a long time, so we're ready to ship these suckers. So be on the lookout for pre press release and product release on these. But again, it's Adrenaline SAS. Just tell your mom that's what it is. But in reality, it's the slickest shit com uh, combo set. So if you have any questions, just hit us up and we'll talk to you next time.